people that like lo-fi stuff, I'm doing things lo-fi. You can see I have my keyboard right here and I have my basic sound recorder right there and I am using this microphone to record a keyboard track into the computer, which I will then put into FLP, try to get the sound I'm looking for. Maybe I won't get it, maybe I will, who knows? But yeah, keyboard like this, bass line. I know the tempo, so then I'm gonna put that into FLP. So now I've taken that bass line and I have basically, I don't know what you call it, truncated it. So I have to find where beat one is without putting the metronome on. Three hours later. sample which wasn't very difficult then I started messing around with putting the drums to it little bit by little hi-hats etc I added drums a little bit at a time I added hi-hats first and then kind of humanized those or made them sound like they were being played by real drums then an open hi-hat and you can see i set up a playlist here and i'm now adding different tracks so i'll put the drums and the instruments all on their own tracks and on and I'll adjust their levels before I really mess with the playlist, but I've got a playlist here, and so you see I'm setting up the song. So now I've added the synth that I wanted to put in there. That type of instrument I always felt like made a track sound extra gangster, so. You have the synth added in there. It's not the final product, but it's definitely satisfactory. I'll probably go back and listen to it tomorrow and find something wrong with it. And I'm sure there's stuff that the real, you know, audio files out there will say, oh, the compression's not right, the reverb's not right, whatever it may be. But I just wanted to show you what the basic process is for, for creating, you know, a beat from scratch using a keyboard and FLP.